Terra Viva, a checkup on the environment. We're off on an unusual kind of shopping trip with Danish chef Torsten Schmidt. We maybe find something over here. The forest is his favorite vegetable garden. So this, you can see, this is, this is my mushroom place. We are in Denmark's second city of Aarhus. Torsten Schmidt is part of the new generation of Danish chefs who have rehabilitated Nordic cuisine in the world of gastronomy. It's a cuisine that's close to nature. It is local, seasonal and uninhibited. When we realized what we are working with, we suddenly, hey, we don't have this. We don't have a big classic cuisine wearing us down, telling us you cannot do this. So, hey, we're free now. We, we, we can do whatever we want. He finds the secret ingredient he was looking for, a handful of sorrel, but he only takes what he needs. Sometimes when we do this like this, and the apprentice makes the, one of these, goes, oh, chef, I need, I think we put 10 or 12 of them on the dish. Yeah. Hey, look, it's me that's collecting them. <laughs> that will be free. <laughs> Two years ago, Torsten and his wife, Reke Malling, opened their own restaurant in this beautiful mansion on the outskirts of Aarhus. The open plan kitchen is located at the heart of the restaurant, which has room for up to 40 guests. Torsten says his inspiration comes from the elements all around him. While we've been at the, at the, at the woods, so let's take this impression and bring it uh, to, into, the, into the dish. Traditional blood, blood sausage. Yeah. Try it with the right mindset. The magic unfolds in just a few minutes. Today's recipe is based on a combination of blood sausage and Jerusalem artichokes. Just add a lashing of smoked oil and a pinch of some secret ingredient. Nordic cuisine is more a way of thinking locally, using what's in front of you, taking very good care of season, because what in the Nordic country is very distinct is season. There's the spring, there's the winter, there's where other countries the season are more, there's more warm through all the, all the year. By having this very distinctive season, you have to think what I'm gonna use now and what I'm gonna preserve smoke, salt, dry, for the next season, especially for the winter. The strength of this new generation of Nordic chefs is their creative force. They're continuously breaking the rules to achieve a cuisine that speaks to all the senses where the key words are nature and season. In the beginning I took classic French sauces, which I learned, which I, it's my background actually, French, German and Danish, and I switched, I looked, okay, there's red wine. What can we use instead of wet rind? What is red rind? Sour liquid, 300 aromatics, red in color. Hmm. Okay, red berry juice from uh, wild uh, berries, uh, aromatics, herbs, uh, sourness is, can, can be from the juice, alcohol, hey, put in some beer, some meal, some aquavit, some fermented juice, you have an alcohol. Nordic cuisine, like its big sister molecular gastronomy, could easily go out of fashion. But there is every chance a cuisine rooted in common sense and everyday life will always be to someone's taste. Okay.